Hey guys, John from JohnMurrayHeadshots.com here, here with Joseph McGuire, Ireland's leading facial profiler. Um, we said we were going to do this, we've done it before and we're doing it again. So we reached out to you guys and said, look, send us in your profile pictures, the pictures you're using on LinkedIn, the headshots that you're using on your website, and we'll critique them, we'll have a talk about what it is that we see in them. So from my point of view, it's going to be the commercial viability of it, how you're using it, um, what the image actually says, and then Joseph's going to profile it. With from the Chinese perspective, traditional Chinese art of Nian Chung, it's three thousand years old. Three thousand year old art. Looking at your personality, what you're communicating in terms of behavior, style, communication, how you're coming across, basically. Yeah. Basically, what the FBI and the CIA do. So he's going to read <laughs> you and tell you if you're a psychopath or not. Um, so we reached out and we said, look, will you send us in your profile images? And I know I'm going to do it from the point of view of I mix human behavioral sciences with photography. So I promote positive self-image and self-acceptance. So I'm not going to crap all over you. Um, so what we're going to do is the images will be posted below. They will be on the screen all the way through this video. And we're going to talk about what we see. So we're going to kick off really quickly. Um, and this first image I know her, um, I've met her quite a number of times. So obviously this image is a smaller image, um, a smaller file size, so it's quite pixelated and it's quite blurred. Um, from my point of view, the jacket's a little bit sloppy and the jacket's open. So what that can do is it, make, it can make you look a little bit heavier than you actually are because the jacket tends to hang off here. And what we do is we follow those lines off the screen. Um, it looks like it was shot underneath incandescent lights, so light bulbs in the ceiling, the normal everyday light bulbs that are around. Um, the light's quite uneven. And you're social smiling, so you're smiling because you believe you have to rather than because you feel emotionally connected to whatever's going on and you're forced to smile by your body. Um, so when your logical thinking brain kicks in and says smile, you move your mouth. Um, but when we smile genuinely and we smile emotionally, it comes from within and we're not thinking about I have to smile um, so that's what I would say on that image okay yeah it is slightly blurry so there's um, there's a lot of detail I'd probably like to see a lot more clearly but there's a few obvious things jumping out your eyebrows tell me that planning and order and precision are very important to you I don't know what you do um, but that would be very important uh, in both your personal and your professional life uh, you do like to spend money so make sure you're very discerning uh, I would say quality is important to you, but make sure you're discerning in how you spend money because you do like to, you do enjoy doing so. Uh, you're stubborn. Um, make sure you understand the difference between being stubborn and determined because stubborn means you can stand on your own, almost like stand on your own feet, block your way um, against your own best interest. Determination means you're focused and you're driving ahead. Um, and yeah, subtle difference, but yeah, makes a big difference in how people perceive you and how people respond. She's cool. Yeah. Um, I know she's cool because I've met her a whole lot of times. Anyway, we're going to move on. Um, this one came to us through email. So I'm not sure if this is being used as a LinkedIn profile picture or not. Um, if it is, the collar is sloppy. So, you know, they are big kind of cool collars. That sure would be cool on its own. But when there's a jacket over it, you can see the taper of the jacket underneath. The collars need to be underneath the taper of the jacket. Um, otherwise it's all Austin Powers and you know that's not cool um, this is obviously a selfie or an image taken with a laptop screen or with the camera on a laptop it's taken from below I do take pictures from below um, which is a little bit of a trade secret for most photographers that shoot from above um, I shoot from slightly below on purpose uh, because it's something that I do it's just the way I do it um, but the light is just sloppy, the light is all over the place because it's just whatever light is in the area. Um, the light's predominantly on the sides as well. Um, we want the light to be on the front of the face, not behind because we want to be able to connect with the face and see health and vitality and stuff like that through the face. Um, and your social smiling, again, the same kind of smiling because you have to. Um, but I'm not sure if this has been used as a LinkedIn profile picture, so it's probably not totally my area. Yeah. Um... With any face, there's always there's always more and more detail I can see. So I'll just throw in a couple of things here. Uh, you've got these perfectionist lines here. Um, so you have a tendency to put yourself under pressure. Um, again, not doing yourself any favors with that one. So just recognize when good enough is good enough. 
yeah, we've we've got a bit of that going on. <laughs> I've got plenty of it, so I recognise it very clearly. Um, your nose is sort of slightly triangular shape, which is not not unusual. And by the way, none of these none of this is judgmental. It's just observation. So it tells me that when you get when you get into something, um, whether it's professional or personal interest, once you once you get into it, you really build up a head of steam. You really <coughs> excuse me, you really build up momentum. Um, but it's it's so you're not you're not full steam ahead straight away. You take time to get into it, but once you get going, you really get going. And one other obvious thing here, there's always one more, but one we'll just go with one. You've got this little horizontal crease halfway between the mouth and the chin, and that tells me you have a tendency to do things for other people that they could and should be doing for themselves. So just watch you're not putting out energy that other people are taking advantage of. Cool. Uh, something else I see as well is that you're biting your bottom lip. Yep. This uh, that's a self soothing thing, so it's yep. People fidget, any of that sort of stuff is just your self soothing. You're just trying to calm nerves because you're having your photograph taken. Um, this guy, uh, we're not going to say names. I do remember his name since he sent me this on LinkedIn. He is using this as a LinkedIn profile picture. Um, this dude, what a face. This would be an amazing face to, to photograph. Honestly, this would be cool. Um, very Richard Branson-y kind of. Absolutely. Absolutely, first thing, thing going on, lots of confidence. The smile is is genuine. Um, squeezing his lower eyelids, corners of his mouth reflected upwards and outwards. Um, he's confident, and whoever is behind the camera, whoever's taking that photograph, he knows, and he's very comfortable in their um, in their presence. The head inclination as well. His kind of head is slightly off to one side. He's opening up his personal space. He's just having fun, and it's a cool picture. Um, for LinkedIn profile picture, maybe not. I don't know what you do. So, like, if you're a creative or something, obviously it's fine. Um, you can get the same results from coming in and working with a professional photographer, making sure that it's very high quality, high detail, because you never know what you're going to be speaking at. Um, so, those sort of images. Now, this is a screenshot. That's why we have the little iPhone button on the corner. Excuse me. So, yeah, you have a cool look. Um, just you don't know what you're going to end up speaking at, so making sure that the image is of quality enough that it's going to be on a massive screen. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a cool image. Um, yeah, I'd echo everything John has said, and just add a couple of things then as well. That high vertical forehead tells me that you're a very you're naturally um, analytical, big into strategy, but analysis is a big, big thing with you, and your upper eyelid kind of comes down. There's no obvious fold visible there. So it tells me that even when you're smiling like that and you're being open and friendly and charming with people, the anal analytical brain is very, very active. So there's a whole sort of strategic thing going on all the time with you, even when you're smiling like that. And there's a lovely warmth in the eyes with the smile, but there's, there's, the, wheels are, the wheels are spinning all the time there. So the Chinese perspective is that there's no absolute positives or negatives. Everything contains the seeds of its opposite. So just make sure that you're not being overly clinical at times in your dealings with other people because it could go amiss. Cool, I like it. Um, the next one is this. I was gonna say her name, but I'm not gonna say her name because the last video we did, I ended up saying names. Um, the image on the left, I did put the image on the right in because I shot the image on the right and I kept asking her, where is your image that I shot? Um, so she wanted to see what was taught from the image from the left and I just threw in the image from the right as well because we get a more direct look on the face. Um, for Joseph's point of view, we don't get the forehead in the second image, but we do in the first image, at least part of it. Um, so I wanted to get a more direct face on image. Uh, the image on the left, standing very rigid. Uh, I know you dance, so this posture is not your posture. Um, you've got great uh, dancer's posture generally um, so what you're doing is you're holding your hands behind you so you're kind of protecting yourself uh, you're leaning back your social smiling in the first image we can see the massive difference between the smile in the first image and the second image so your top lip is completely flat in the first image uh, showing that it's a social smile and your lower eyelids curve they dip in the first image as well so you're holding your eyes open and when you hold your eyes open all you're doing is trying to get a good view of the whole room because you're uncomfortable uh, whereas in the second image your top lip doesn't go straight across. The center of your lip and the corners of your mouth are on different altitude levels. So they kind of bow up. 
showing it's a genuine smile. The same with your lower eyelids, they cut through your iris, the colored part of your eye. Um, the light in the first image is just sloppy. It's a bit all over the place. Um, not the same for the light in the second <laughs> image because it's my image. Uh, but, you know, that's the difference between uncomfortable and comfortable or the difference between, you know, what people generally think they look like as opposed to what they actually look like. Um, I know you're a superpower and a superstar and yeah, so. Yeah, it's like looking at two different people here. Um, just a couple of different things then here. We see in the photo on the left, we see the right earlobe, which is nicely sized, which tells me that you're naturally very intuitive. So make sure you're paying attention to that. When you get what we call a good feeling, pay attention. Uh, that's one of the attributes there. <coughs> Excuse me. It's particularly evident in the photo on the right that the right side of your jaw is that bit wider and fuller. So that tells me you place particular emphasis on your professional life, your, where your professional goals and direction are concerned, you're very focused and very determined. But you also, uh, John mentioned that you're a dancer, I did, didn't realize that bit, but you do need to keep yourself physically fit and physically active because that will enhance your ability to achieve professionally. Cool. Awesome. Next. Okay, this lady sent me this um, through, I believe it was a LinkedIn message. So one of the images, obviously the image of the smile is the LinkedIn image because it's in that circular crop. Um, and she also sent me a link to her website. She's asked me, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is actually, is it, is it do I show teeth, do I not show teeth? And it's, when you come in to have headshots done, when you're photographing yourself, when you're shooting selfies, whatever it is, it's whatever is genuine and natural for you. Um, the smile on the left is a genuine smile. You're squeezing your lower eyelids. You've got this, it's called a Duchenne smile. Uh, like I said before, in the image before, the center of your lip and the corners of your mouth are on different levels. That's one massive indicator whether it's a genuine smile or not. Uh, it is a genuine smile, but you're uncomfortable and what you're doing is if we look at your posture. So one of the first things that we do as humans is we understand shape. So we look at the shape of somebody's shoulders and the position their head is in. Uh, your head is very direct and straight on where you are obviously sitting back on your hip with your right leg kicked out and your hand on your hip because that's the shape that the shoulders are following. Um, but it just feels weird in the, in the photograph. You're at an angle, your head is like very direct and straight on. The photographer should have really angled it or cropped it and turned it. Um, but the head is very direct and we have these sternocleidomastoid uh, muscles sticking out as well, showing that you're straining. So you're straining in both images because you're uncomfortable. Um, but they did well to get a genuine smile out of you. So um, you were asking which one I think you should use more. The one with the smile is obviously much better. Um, it's, always, it's always better to have a big open smile because that's one of the things that people will, uh, will engage with and they'll, they'll warm to. Um, can't remember what you do, but yeah, not a bad image. Light's nice. Yeah, nice to see both images actually and to see the different expressions. Um, I look to vary what I say about the different photos so I'm not just repeating the same things all the time here. So there's a number of things. There's a lovely bright light shining in, in the eyes in both, both images, which is really nice to see because that indicates that your vitality is good physically, mentally, emotionally, and your, that your life spirit, as the Chinese might say, is, is strong. Uh, so you're really engaged with life. That's 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 such. Uh, that's the first thing I always look for. Um, you've got a little, tiny little cleft here in the tip of the nose, and one of my American peers refers to that as the mark of divine discontent, which sounds terribly dramatic. It's not really. Um, what it indicates is that there's always that feeling that there's something more, something bigger, something better. Um, and I see it as something positive that you're never going to become complacent with your life or with your lot. You're always going to looking to expand, become more conscious, become more aware, become more, uh, not, not more talented because you've got the talent, um, it, have a much deeper understanding of what it is you're doing and what you're looking to do and how to do it, how to best serve. So that's, that's, that's an, innate, an innate trait in, in you that will always drive you forward. And one other little detail is the photo on the right where you're not smiling. You've got the little dips, little indentations at the corners of the mouth, which tells me that you have a tendency to be somewhat secretive. And even in your close relationships, there's a tendency to hold something back. So just be alert to that. Uh, it's 
It's not a value judgment, it's just an observation. Heart shaped lips as well, the sweetheart lips. Oh yeah. Uh, she likes nice things. <laughs> and she's got great information eyebrows. Anyway, yep. we're gonna jump on to the next image. And the next image is, oh, this, it's uh, the chestnut fawn fella. Um, he likes to tell people he's chestnut fawn, but he's ginger. Um, <laughs> this is Kevin, my right hand man. I said I wasn't gonna do any name and names or whatever, but uh, this is Kev, he's my, he's, he's my solid backup. Kevin is the only dude in the whole world I would trust to photograph my wedding. Um, so, I shot this image so I can't really critique it. Actually, I can critique it because I, I don't shoot like this anymore. This is what I said, that I used to shoot slightly above everybody. Um, you can see I'm shooting down on. So the camera's slightly higher than uh, his eyes. Um, smile is genuine. It's nice and relaxed and chilled out. He's squeezing his lower eyelids because I made him. Um, yeah, he's a bit sternocleidomastoidy, so he's, he's a little bit straining with the neck. Posture's a bit hanging off to one side because that's the way I used to shoot. Um, but I'm not going to critique the image because I don't shoot like this anymore. I shoot level on or slightly below. Um, just so that I'm on par with you. You're not looking down on somebody or they're not looking down on you. Okay, um, obviously a good buddy of yours, so um, you know him well. I'll just make a couple of again, different comments. You see, I mentioned an earlobe in an earlier photo. His earlobe is attached here, the right earlobe. So when you see the, the earlobe attached like that, um, it tells you that this is somebody who's going to be fiercely um, defensive of those people close to him. Very atta literally attached to them. I don't, and I don't mean that overly attached. I don't mean any sort of weird, weird emotional context. Not like a leech. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, not quite. But the relationships are important. Um, so, so connection is really important in his life and the people who are close to him will be very important to him and he'll go out of his way to support or defend him. Um, <laughs> he's got a little cluster of upright hairs, the right eyebrow, the beginning of the right eyebrow here, it tells you that he's a problem spotter. So you propose something to him, you put an idea to him and he'll instantly say, yeah, if we do it this way, there's a problem with that. If we do it that way, there's a problem there. So he'll spot those things and immediately. It, it's innate within him to point them out, um, which won't make him always popular, but it's a, it's a great talent to have um, and great to have that kind of person around. And one other thing, which is I think for him to watch, is there's a little swelling underneath the lower lip here. There's a white line you can see there. So it tells me there's a degree, of, this is on a physical health level, there's a degree of stagnation in the colon. So anything that shows up in the colon, any kind of irregularity, Change in bowel habits, sorry to be too full of shit, Kev. <laughs> but uh, anything, any ch changes there, deal with it quickly. Cool. Um, this is another guy I know. Um, his beard is significantly longer now. Um, he did send me that. So let's have a look. The, from my point of view, the light is nice, it's in all the right areas, um, the image is slightly warm for me, um, it's a little bit on the teetering towards toasted, um, I suppose. Let me see, posture's cool, uh, big open chest, big open shoulders, um, so presenting yourself and saying, look, I'm here. Um, a lot of the time we see people and they diminish their shoulders, they, they kind of pull themselves in uh, because they don't want to be seen. So like lifting those shoulders and having good, strong, confident posture, your head is forward in a great position. I know you're a headshot photographer, so you know this stuff. Uh, we're trained by the same guy. Um, the mouth's not totally matching the eyes are saying. So you can get those eyes in and you have those confident eyes, but the mouth is just a little bit too flat. There is a slight upward inclination at the outside of the uh, the lips, showing that there is a bit of a smile there. But uh, yeah, it's super cool, super confident, and yeah, cool image. Yeah, um, nice long ears there, which I always love to see because again, from a Chinese perspective, that's a sign of a long, not just a long life, but uh, you take a long, the longer perspective, the longer view of things. So you think long term. Uh, you're not you're not a short termer. Um, your eyebrows are relatively straight, close to the eyes, so that tells me that you can be quite intense. You can you can be quite rational and quite logical. Um, the eyebrows tend to thin out, sort of halfway across. So that, that also tells me while you're really engaged at the beginning of a project, you can kind of 
their interest can be kind of watered down. And that also tallies down with the fact that you've got a very high forehead and a very rounded forehead at the top. So your, your mind is very, very active. There's always a lot going on. There's a whole, like it's like there's a whole series of compartments and they're all interacting and they're all engaging and you're, you're thinking about several things simultaneously and you have a capacity to do that, unlike a lot of people. But because you've got all this curved area here at the top, you've, you're naturally very creative and you're always thinking of the next thing and how can I change that and how can I adapt that, what can I do, how can I develop this. So um, that's part of where your interest can flag in things because you're already thinking ahead. So cool. just keep yourself present. Just to point out as well, this is not hairline related. This is the <laughs> actual shape of the yeah. prefrontal cortex, which is the front part of the brain, which is where we absorb new information or process information and problem solved. Um, if you imagine Captain Caveman way, way, way years ago, like Neolithic man had a head like a pistachio nut, like almost like the shape of a dog's head. Um, because it, they didn't need to process a lot of information. They didn't need to overcome a lot of problems. So when we started to develop more problems, or more technologies like fire and you know communicating with bigger groups of people and sects of people what we needed to do was we needed to process that information to do that we needed a bigger prefrontal cortex once that started to develop it needed to go somewhere so the skull shape changes um so that's where that comes from rather than talking about hairline because that doesn't really matter uh this lady said use mine use mine she's the very first person to send me an image which is a bit funny because she's about halfway through the uh images that we selected through the randomizer um again it's an image i shot i shot it a while ago um but it's still one of my favorite images the light in the background i don't know what i was doing hair lighting yet because i don't do that um maybe it was something left over from somebody else i've no idea um, smile is genuine it's a giggly smile um, yeah I'm going to point something out she's probably going to kill me when she walked into the studio she told me she had a round face um, <laughs> and that she doesn't like a round face don't have a round face nope. there's a big difference between people who see themselves like this and people who stick their head out a little bit because we have to understand the curvature of the lens and the camera and how the lens sees um, but yeah she's a really cool person she's Holistic, but she's really cool. Uh, holistic, not in a bad way. Um, I, I'm not going to give anything away. <laughs> Can't give anything away because if I do, you go, should he told him? No, no, no. I have no idea who this lady is, but this is a lovely smile. Um, you definitely do not have a round face. In fact, you have a combination of rectangular and oval. Um, the Chinese recognize eight basic face shapes. And rectangular is one we in, innately, intuitively associate with leadership qualities. So you have the capacity to walk into a room as long as you're calm and clear and relaxed and feeling confident in yourself that people will notice you and will associate you with somebody who's in charge here or is capable of taking charge. The oval bit is, associated, is, is more associated with um, the importance of harmony in your environment. So you don't like you don't like stress. You certainly don't like aggression, and that's that's fine. There's no again, there's no judgment in any of this. It's, so it's important to you. You work at your best when things are harmonious and peaceful around you, and even when your environment is tidy. And your eyebrows tell me that tidiness <coughs> is important. One other obvious thing jumping out here is your right eyebrow is slightly angled, it's like almost like a sort of elongated inverted V. And that tells me you like to be in charge, particularly in your professional life. I can't see the full left eyebrow here. So your right eyebrow uh, you indicates you like to be in charge in your professional life. And if things are not in place, you're well capable of stepping up and saying, guys, this is how it needs to be. Cool. Next image. Um, I think we've seen one of these before uh, from this guy. Um, so I'm not going to say what he does. I'm not going to say who he is. Um, I think the last time around we probably critiqued one or maybe it got missed because we had like 30 odd images the last time that we actually went through. So it took us an hour and a half. Um, this image, the shirt is a little bit sloppy for me. It's just kind of hanging. It, it's hanging a bit forward. Um, it's a nice relaxed shirt. With shorts, one of the big pet peeves for me is that the collar sits off the back of the neck. Um, it's not that big an issue because the shirt is a little bit 
it, it's more of a casual shirt rather than you know a, a work shirt or something like that so it's not that big an issue here but what I tend to do is I tend to stick some tissue down behind the head to pull the collar flat and um, just around the side of the neck so it doesn't look like the shirt is way too big for you or that you've got some sort of a you know cervical or like a neck issue or something like that um, what I see here is the lights quite nice the light is off to 45 degrees just above the head um, nice big octo box or round shaped light uh, it's Rembrandt light so it cuts across the face um, it shows it is shot from the right side as well and um, the correct side for you um, it's a little bit starey so you're trying to show intensity in the image um, you're holding your mouth shut as well which is giving you those kind of little small creases down here um, it's not a bad image actually it's it, it's very akin to the looks of Rory Lewis or that sort of um, those sort of photographers the kicker light as well is brilliant um, on the right hand side of your face uh, just kind of lifting those shadows very very slightly um, it's just the perfect perfect level um, it doesn't need to be any stronger than that something that I struggled for a while with because Peter used to kick my ass over my kicker lights my shadow transitions um, but yeah it's a nice image um, it's well shot it's well exposed um, you're squeezing your eyebrows just or your eyelids just enough yeah it's a nice image I like it okay this is obviously a, a deliberate image deliberate pose deliberate expression of the face here so I'll just make some general observations uh, we notice a, a whole series of lines here there's horizontal lines there's vertical lines in the forehead area that tells me you've put a lot of mental effort into whatever it is you do a lot of a lot of thinking a lot of study um, a lot of working things working things through um, Tony Blair has this whole series of lines like that and he put I'm not comparing you in character to Tony Blair just in terms of the, the sheer amount of mental effort that's gone into into being you and becoming you um, I have no idea what you do or your background um, you're you've got quite thick eyebrows which tells me learning is important to you anyway and absorbing information is naturally important and even if it's not work related you have a fascination with information and taking things in uh, but one thing just in terms of this image in itself and I assume this is not your normal uh, facial expression you've got the left eyebrow much raised much higher than the right if we were to see that as a normal expression we would assume it's almost like split personality like your your professional side and your personal side are completely different so it's almost like the the what's it the, the street angel house devil kind of thing so just be careful on that one how you're actually presenting yeah the eyebrow looks like it's jacked up on purpose oh, yeah. um yeah but he's an actor ah okay. so okay. that could be uh, yeah so the split personalities thing is you're you're very different in your professional life than you are in your real life of course you are because you're an actor um good spot um cool this is a good friend yeah we both know her um okay for me this image the you don't need to be as turned as you you are in this image um it's very posy and you're leaning back as well just to get that hair forward and to make sure that that hair frames your face um the light for me is the image itself is very green um, as if there's some sort of a weird filter on it or the white balance of the camera was way 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 off um, so the camera was on auto white balance and it was picking up you know whatever color tones so just to explain white balance if you walk into a room in, in, in a house usually those kind of incandescent light bulbs um, are about 33 3600 Kelvin so they're, they're quite warm actually very warm light Not very warm light. Um, so daylight is about 5,500 Kelvin and as it goes further up, it, it tends to, to get colder. So the light goes very blue or it goes very orange. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we can see and understand the, the light balance. Our eyes adjust to it naturally, cameras can't, especially if it picks up different tones. So if you're wearing a blue jumper or a blue shirt, Sometimes the camera thinks it's very cold looking, so it'll try to add red tones or orange tones into it to warm it up. Um, so this just looks a bit green. Um, 
the light's confusing actually because you've got light off to your right side or you've got something off to your right side that is flat and then you've got a light up over you that's light in the front of the face and then you've got more lights off to the side as well um, which is giving weird shapes to your cheekbones and stuff like that you're smiling because you believe you need to um, rather than the fact that you actually want to smile because it's coming from internal um, but yeah it's just a bit forced but I know that's not you I know you're not like that um, what do you think? yeah it's kind of funny talking about a good friend in a <laughs> you know, public scenario like this so um, I'll just uh, keep my observations brief here uh, <coughs> apologies so sort of a bit of a post viral tickle here um, you notice the tip of the nose hangs down <laughs> it's okay I want I'm not I don't, sick. I don't he's going on TV tomorrow and he's going to <laughs> sick now yeah good man not quite just just in recovery uh, you notice the tip of the nose hangs down here so that tells me that being of service is important to you and giving back and I know that's really important in your professional life because I know that I know you I know you well I know your business um, uh, the, the business you run outside of Ireland and I know that's really important to you that you contribute to the community that's that's involved in all of that um, a general point here when you smile you can see your your gums um, yeah it's an odd one talking about a close <laughs> a close friend but uh, generosity is important to you giving is important to you but it's also important that people acknowledge your generosity so if you're giving and people aren't reciprocating or at least acknowledging your generosity you'll notice and you'll pull back cool um, the other thing here as well as the camera is a lot below your your level so your your height level um, so we're getting a bit of the dentist view we're almost looking up your nose um, again it's like I do shoot but like lower than a person but I do it on purpose because there's different things body language wise that I need to, to try and encourage um, and because you're leaning back and your head is forward we see that big gap between your shoulders and the back of your head uh, or the back of your neck and it's causing that gap with the back of the shirt again um, it's not as obvious as it was with the other image because it's shot from below rather than shot from above um but yeah cool got vertical eyebrow hairs as well she does absolutely oh, problem yeah. seeker she sees all the problems <laughs> oh yeah um so that's the end of the pictures that we did randomized because we couldn't do what we did last time because it was supposed to be a 15 minute video it ended up being 75 minutes because we ended up profiling like 35 people are talking about 35 people's different images um you're really good at this you should write a book yeah, apparently. Apparently there's a book available. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called Face Facts, The Art of Reading Your Clients your, and Prospects for Negotiations and Recruitment. I should know the name of that uh, because I have a copy. It's signed and there's a very familiar picture on the back of it as well. Um, you can get that on clearsightcommunications.com. Absolutely. Do any sort of negotiation skills if you talk to people if you deal with people if you're in human resources in anything like that uh this is definitely 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 worth worth a read i'll tell you later where you can download the free copy <laughs> <laughs> um if you have any questions or comments or anything like that post them below uh, you can get me on johnmarieheadshots.com and you can get him on clearsightcommunications.com uh, or you can if you're watching irish tv yesterday um, he's on TV3 talking about politicians. <laughs> we were going to stick in some politicians, but we want to, don't want to take away from the fact that uh, he's already talking about them on TV3. And it's Virgin Media now, not TV3. Oh, yeah, it's Virgin Media now, not Virgin TV3. Media 1. Yeah. You can get it on the same channel that TV3 used to be on. Yeah, and it'll be on the player on Monday. Because uh, John doesn't make mistakes when watching his videos. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks for tuning in.